Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. I just got a few DMs the other day on about how to create like this volumetric light in Blender. So I'll just quickly show you guys how to do that. So let's start off with a brand new project. So I'll just create a new project. So we have a file here and now you can select anything you like, like any of it could be a robot, it could be a human, it could be the default object that is the Suzanne in Blender. But if you have the Blender kit, you can just search for like cars and from here you can select any of these which are like free. So I'll just search for cars. And by the way, Blender kit is a free add-on where you can get like tons of free assets right here inside Blender. So I'll just, uh, so I'll just search for cars and I got this police car right here. So I'll just drag and drop right here and we'll just let this load so we have a car right here and let's just split our window and i'll hide all the overlays in this window i'll hide even this and let's quickly create a camera press shift a and, sorry shift a and press and create a camera numpad 0 to enter the camera view and then if you just come up here view you can just lo uh, lock the camera to sorry not this you can just lock the camera to view so but what you can do is you can insert right click and you can change the shortcut and you can add any of your shortcut for example i have short set the shortcut and the asterisk key so once we have locked the camera to view i'll just scroll this back until i find a good angle something like this and quickly for the render setting what i'll do is i'll go to the sampling i'll change the max samples for my uh, this thing uh, viewer to 128 and i'll also enable denoising and if you're using a rtx card then you can change this to optics it's a little bit faster than the normal or you can just keep it automatic and i'll go to the camera and from camera i'll just select a preset for my sensor size i'll select the black magic pocket 6k and i'll just set my composition quickly something like this and here i and on this window i'll press the numpad zero so this is like so you can just select define a render view right here so you can see how it looks okay so currently right off the back we have this and we will need to convert this to this so what we'll do is we'll create a plane so press shift a mesh plane press s to scale it up and here you can see the preview if it's too slow what i've noticed is if i just disable this light tray right here this becomes a lot more faster i don't know what's up with this light tray so if it's a little slow in your viewport you can just disable this option right here okay so i have my scale i'll just scale this up and i'll do, and we'll also just create a backdrop right here so what i'll do is i'll select the plane i'll press tab to hop into the edit mode i'll go to the edge view or just press 2 and i'll select this edge i'll press e and z to extrude it along the z axis i'll go back to the edge mode i'll select this i'll press ctrl b and i'll just move my mouse to bevel it and i'll just scroll up to add a few to smoothen that curve up and i'll just go back to the object mode right click and i'll shade it smooth i'll also scale it up a bit something like that okay now what we'll do is first off the camera is also rendering the part which is outside of a camera and it's annoying to me so what i'll do is i'll select the camera i'll go here uh, viewport display and i'll just get this value to one so that it's black outside okay so first of what will do, you you'll see that there are no lights in our scene but still our scene is lit up it's because by default we have a background and it's a value is set to one so this is basically like lighting up our environment so what i'll do i'll get this back to zero till it's dark and now i'll just create a new area light so i'll press shift a light and an area light and I'll just move this up a bit. We have something like this. What will I'll increase the intensity of my area light to somewhere around 1500 and I'll move it up a bit. So first of what we'll do is we will, you'll see that our area light is like spreading all over the scene. What I want to do is instead I want to 
just narrow the width of our area line so if you come here you will see this beam shape and you will see this spread is at 180 so if you get this down you will see we, we have more of like a spotlight right here and I also change the shape to disk so I'll get this down something like that and I'll also get the power down to let's say 500 okay and now whenever you try to move your red light you'll need to again and again get this here suppose you need to move your red light here you'll need to move this again to match instead what we can do is we'll create an empty so I'll go to empty plane axis so we just have like a null object right here so what I can do is I can select my light I can go I can add an object constraint and I'll say track to and from the target I'll just select empty so now if you try to move your area light you see how it follows the empty like whenever you try to move it will automatically follow the empty it saves a lot of time this way so what I'll do is I'll select the empty and I'll just get this down a bit and now to get this rays right here with that image let me load up the image to get these kind of rays we need to introduce volume metric or volumes in our scene so what you'll do is you'll press shift a mesh cube let's rename this to press enter or double click rename this to volume and just scale it up until it fills up the entire scene and what I'll also do is you can see in the viewport display this will obstruct our view so what I'll do is I'll select the cube I'll go here and I'll say visibility uh, under viewport display I'll just change this to wire so that we can easily like scroll up and in and out of our scene and I'll select the cube and let's just open another window here and I'll change this to the shader editor and I'll add a new shader and I'll delete the principal BSDF and let's just search for press shift A and search for volume scatter and plug the volume to the volume you'll see nothing will happen because by default there's I don't know it's a bug or something so you need to go back to the solid and then to the shader view you'll see it's all dark because the density is way too high so I'll just set this to 0.1 and now you can see we have volume in our scene so what I'll do is I'll just adjust this accordingly I'll move this back and I'll also decrease the spread even more something like this and if you're not happy with the position of your light then you can just move your empty press G and then shift Z to move along the plane and you can just get this wherever you like and also on this background I'll add a material a black material and I'll also increase the metallic value and I'll decrease the roughness a bit to get some highlights right here I mean the specular a little bit There's something like this I feel the volume like the intensity of our volume is like way too high so what I'll do, I select my cube and I'll get the density to like 0 0.01 and you can also play with the anisotropy right here as per your needs. We can also introduce some sort of color to our volume, for example the light teal value color, but I'll just get the saturation down and let's see. Uh, what we'll do is we will also introduce just a little bit of environmental light because I feel it's way too dark outside here so let's just get this up to 0.2 just a little bit so that it's not like completely black let's see 0.5 skip it 0.3 obviously you can add in a lot more detail but I'm just showing but this tutorial is just to show the like this volumetric effect right here what you can also do is currently you'll see the ray let's see one second I'll just and I'll just go to the camera and I'll change the focal length to 35 so that we can see more of these rays and I'll also change the angle a bit okay just to see those rays right here and I'll just move the backdrop to the side 
let me see okay something like this and i'll also decrease the intensity of a light a bit something like 250 okay i'll get out of my camera and so here you'll notice that our haze you can what you can do is you can add some details to your rays so how do we do that you can simply search for a let's search for a musk grave texture so press shift a and search for musk grave texture and i'll also add a color ramp so i'll search for color ramp i'll connect the height to the factor and the color to the color so you can see uh, what you can do is you can get this I'll just invert these values here and now if you just increase the scale and just get this even more down it's very subtle but you can see like we have broken up our haze into like fine more like very fine details you cannot see especially with the youtube compression but let me just increase the samples a bit more for the viewport just to see and i'll also decrease this to 0.01 so you can see we have broken up our haze into like different pieces so if i just disable this uh sorry not this i'll just disable the yeah i'll just disable the texture you can see this was before and this is after so you can play around with this as well to add in more texture to your haze but i'll just decrease this value a bit i'll just keep some details at the edge right here and once you're done what you can also do is uh, in the new blender 3.5 you can directly composite in blender itself so what you can do is if you just come up here compositor and if you just select camera which means whenever whenever you're in the camera view the compositor will work so i'll i'll just quickly change this to the compositor and i'll say use nodes and for example i can add in a rgb curves and i can just get this value down you can see the compositor is working directly but if i get out of my camera it won't work so that's why there is the second option you can select always and now the compositor will work always so you can color correct your scene from here itself so you can for example you can add in a little bit of color just a teal color and i do not like the specular here so what i'll do is I'll select my floor and I'll just increase the roughness to the max value that is one and I'll just add a little bit of color to the haze what I'll do I'll not use the compositor here I'll go back to the 3d viewport so you can see we have let's quickly render it out and let's see what we have okay so our rendering is done and we have this image right here let us quickly composite this in after effects and let's see what we have Okay, so after a quick composite, I came up with this in After Effects. Obviously, our goal was not to composite on anything, but just to create this volumetric light. You can see the detail that I'm talking about. You can see the edges of the volumetric have broken due to the musgrave texture. So, okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.